Welcome back to Lily's Crafty Corner. Today I want to share with you uh, some things I purchased last Friday. We could go, well, it'll be a week, a week from yet yeah, tomorrow, last Friday. Uh, this lady was having um, a tag sale. She was having it Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday because everybody was off on Monday. So she wanted the four-day tag sale. So I went and I think I really cleaned up. Now, I'm going to show you that, um, you're going to say, well, I bought a swing line. First thing I picked up, and I'm going to show you why, is a stapler. Now, I plant, and it's an old one, and I probably should, um, it's probably, I don't know, maybe back from the 60s or 70s. Anyhow, um, what I liked about it is I want to transform it, and I'm going to show you what I'm going to transform it into. I had, this is another, this is a, um, a stapler. And what I did was I took it and I um, decoupaged on it and I um, did rub-ons and I have molds to make the air dried, uh, use the air dried clay. It's sort of like a paper clay. And I did that and I made this, um, I altered this um, stapler. In addition to doing the stapler, though I didn't quite do them exactly the same, but I also did a um, paper, you know, a sketch tape or, or a cellophane tape um, dispenser. And if you go back to Genevieve Designs, and I'm gonna say it's gotta be five, six years ago, Maybe, no, maybe it's not that long. Um, yeah, maybe it is. Maybe it is four or five years ago. Um, she did uh, several videos on doing those, and I watched them, and I absolutely loved it. So if you want to go um, find the um, Genevieve Designs, and uh, I was going to say search for um, altered tape dispenser and um, stapler. And it's an amazing uh, tutorials that she did. And I just absolutely loved it. So anyway, I paid 75 cents for this. And that's a long way around showing you that. Now, the other thing I purchased from her was they, these were $2 a bag. Now, she had three bags of them. And of course, they were trying to get me to buy all three bags. But I explained that, well, I don't know what I'm going to do with them. And even there's some in here that um, I won't be able to do much with. And the ones that I'm really interested in are the metal and these plastic ones that have a wide side to them. But anyway, as you can see, there's quite a few here. And there's even one that's a heart that I could use for something else. And the same thing, you have an angel. I mean, there's still a whole bunch in here. I mean, I'm not really going to go through each one. But what I'm doing with them, these are ones that I had, that I had purchased from the dollar store. Um, either it's dollar store or Christmas tree shop. I can't really remember. And I'm still in mourning over the loss of the Christmas tree shop. But anyway, um, this is a little gingerbread. And what I did, I have this uh, ticking uh, ribbon that I purchased um, on clearance in, and I think I got like four rolls of it in um, Hobby Lobby and I think I paid like 59 cents a roll and I bought four of them and it's it's actually looks like the ticking you know pillow ticking or um, so anyway or your old fashioned uh, mattress ticking Anyway, I was doing that, and I want to, um, and the, I think in another video I show you where I have the um, clear uh, string, like like a it's, it looks like um, fishing string, but it's um, something that I did pick up at the Dollar Tree. Anyway, I want to use that to hang them with. However, I also have. Um, a lot of those little holly berries and different things, you know, on um, the picks that I can cut apart and hot glue on these. So that's what I want to do. That's my thought process for these. 
and I honestly have more than I can use. But what I do like is some of them are petted, just, just to throw that out there. Some of these are petted, and what's nice about that is they really have that um, older look to them. And I may finish them off. I may not use the ribbon ticking on all of them. I may do some other things with them, but how uh, other finishes. However, um, I want to make some for my granddaughter and my daughter. And I wanted to give a couple to um, some friends of mine that I have lunch with once a month who were retired nurses. And um, so I thought I would give them to, uh, each give them one. Um, you know, when we have our December luncheon, which we already have scheduled. So anyway, that's um, one of the things, and I absolutely love it, love them. Now, the other thing is these little golden books. Now, I don't know if anybody else is aware of it, but you used to be able to buy the little golden books at flea markets and secondhand shops for um, a song, right? 35 cents a dollar, whatever. Well, now they're um, coming in and people want $2.49. They want $1.77. I've even been in a couple of places where they want $5 a piece for them. Used, like the, like these. She sold them to me for 50 cents a piece. Now, these I've had, which I have purchased. I think this one I had purchased, and it's a old, much older one. But it was somebody that was having um, a tag sale, and in fact, um, as you can see, that it's, it's got it's old enough that it's uh, it still has what's his name on it. It has uh, Big Bird, but it's back from the '70s, and it's a Raggedy Ann and Andy one, and um, I have it apart. I had to make an inch um, spine for it, and I'm through in. I made the three signatures. And before I put them in, I want to do some work on the middle, the, the second signature. But that's, this one's for my great-grandson, um, Jackson. And his sister, this is her first Christmas. So I have one that I'm doing for her. And I, have, I, haven't, put, I haven't taken it apart yet to put the one-inch spine in. But um, we have the book separated in the same way and I didn't hadn't thought about it but they these particular ones they're um they're of course they're stapled in and then there's two there's actually two signatures in it which I always thought they were all done in one but they're not so there's the two signatures so I'm making that one for her for Christmas um for her mom to, to put the things in it and then I have one that I just, I don't know where it is now. Is it here? Now where is it? Oh, here it is. We just bought this one at Kohl's. And um, anyway, we were, able to, we were able to get a good price on it. And I'm going to do, put this together for uh, Charlotte for her um, ballerina-themed room. And so that one, this one up. by the time I give this to her, it'll probably be will most likely be for Valentine's Day. But the other two um, I will be getting together hopefully by Christmas. So I think this is another reason why I haven't really gotten into getting my um, Christmas cards done because I've been so involved in trying to get these things together for uh, the grandchildren. Now the other thing, or great-grandchildren. Now the other thing that she had there which um, I was pleasantly surprised, um, was uh, two distress inks. They're not oxides, they're distress, but they, um, they're in good shape. They're the tea dye, and I did find online the um, reinkers for them, so I've ordered them, but I've used these already, and I'm gonna tell you something. They're, um, I didn't have to wet them or anything. They definitely have plenty of ink in them. And she charged me a dollar a piece. So I was a happy camper. So now I also bought from her some other things here that are in another bag. Let's see if we can go through those quickly. I have a brayer, but it's a very small brayer. And I have a gel 
plate that I have not used yet. And uh, part of the reason was that um, I didn't have a proper brayer. So now I have a proper brayer and I think I paid, I'm gonna say almost everything was a dollar or two. And, oh, here we go. Oh, things are falling apart here. Yeah, so, and then in this one, this, which I had something similar to this, but it's, um, and I would say she bought this at Michael's, because I've seen this at Michael's, and I bought something similar years ago, when I first, uh, it's probably 10 years ago, but this has all these, like, if you're going to use, um, brads, these are like, you put these on under the bread let me see if, yeah like yes you put like if you have a, a plain bread oh, that one's bent but if you have a plain bread you put these in and then um or you can take do that or you can put them um, if you get the right size which these i i would assume are are eyelets so you can put the bread through there or an eyelet and again this was like a dollar Everything was um, either a dollar or two dollars, so I can't complain. Then there were a whole bunch of these little ones, little breads, which are probably the ones that you would use with that kind of thing. And there were several of them, but she put them in a, yeah, she put them all together. And some, I think there was a bunch of these that were just like 50 cents. Or whatever so that was cool the only thing i think i paid a little bit more for were these two i think she charged me five dollars for both of these um and they work well i checked i checked them out before i bought them um i have tons of corner rounders but you know these things wear out after a while and i gotta tell you i've got the crop of dollar and that poor thing is is on its last legs it's really good i've had it probably 10 years anyway this one is a tag one, which I've never had one that's the actual tag or, you know, to, um, for your journals to put on the side tab. I said tag, but I meant tab, T-A-B. And, but it works fine. So that's why I had, I think it was $5 for the two of those. Then there were some more of these things, which I think she ended up only charging me 50 cents. That might've been part of that other thing that was 50 cents, those little guys here. I think all of this, it was either 50 cents or a dollar. It was ridiculous. And then these. These were, um, these are eyelet snaps. And they're really pretty. And there was one, and they were a dollar. And that's what they were marked, but that's not what she, I think she charged me for all four. She charged me a dollar, which was cool. The front, yeah. And then these were, I have plenty of these, but I figured, what the heck, 50 cents, I might as well do it, right? And these are sticky dot adhesives, which again, um, I have mentioned too that I do like these, and these were cheap. I mean, she, I think she only charged me 50 cents on these too. And the whole idea is that, that they're just, they're really great to use to stabilize. And she charged me a dollar for this. And it's funny, I have a lot of these. However, the ones that I have um, are, are not the actual zigzag like you would get if you were using your uh, pinking shears. This is, um, my others have, you know, different um, designs on them. And I don't know if I have any sitting next to me or not. I guess I don't. Anyway, but the point is this was a zigzag. So that was my purchases from uh, going to a tag sale in the um, neighborhood and it's um, I wanted to mention too that this lady uh, back in the day worked at AC Moore but she worked there when they first opened and then she left oh goodness um, they've been what closed maybe five years now six years whatever it is Anyway, she was probably out of there a good five to six years before they closed. 
So um, a lot of these things I, I think that um, she had purchased when she worked there. So anyway, she had a lot of it left and um, she sold them to me for a song. So I'm quite happy. I hope you enjoyed this. Please um, give me a thumbs up and don't be afraid to subscribe. I'd love to have you as a, a subscriber. And uh, I have a few more things that I, a few more videos I want to make, not necessarily um, purchase uh, things that I purchased, but I have a few um, coming up that I want to do project shares and what I call mini tutorials. Um, and I'll see you all soon. Bye.